today I'm going to show you how I made these four abstract landscapes and how you can too. So grab some basic supplies and follow along. You'll need some watercolor paper or I'm using these four small canvases and I'm taping them together for two reasons. One, I want to have a flow, a synergy between all four pieces. And two, I want a really crisp white border around each one of these. So taping them up with some low-tech painter's tape really helps me in this um, process. Then you're going to want to choose your color palette. So I decided to go with reds, pinks, and purples for this painting. You might choose to do something completely different. If you are following along, remember you can always pause and make your marks and then restart. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay out some paints on that gray toned palette. Um, that's just a glass palette that I picked up at the art supply store. And I'm going to start with purple to lay a ground and essentially what I'm doing in an abstract landscape is getting in a horizon line. The thing about a horizon line is that it will give your landscape some context so that when someone's viewing it they can sort of place themselves or understand what you're trying to convey there. Um, so then I start just making marks note anything I do in one quadrant I want to do in the others not necessarily exactly the same I don't need to make the same mark or make um, the colors be in the exact same spot um, I'm trying to push what I'm doing within each quadrant to be a little bit different in that lower left, what I'm doing there is trying to add some drips with some water. I wasn't loving how that was turning out, so I ended up just using my finger to smudge it around. And finger painting is always fun and, you know, sort of gives you an unexpected look. So give it a shot. Then I wanted to use a pink uh, blush color just to give it sort of a neutral color in that background. It is just about playing with color here for me. In fact, the whole, my whole thing is what inspires me is color. Color inspires me. And I've found that the process of painting or making art also inspires me. It's that process. It's not something that I can generally find outside of myself. Inspiration, that is. Um, so like if I'm having a stressful day, it really helps me to unleash my inner creative by playing with color and mark making. It gets me out of my head and helps to quell those endless uh, thoughts and that chatter of stress and anxiety. I'm inspired when I'm doing something creative and being creative makes me happy. And it, you know, it could be because I'm making all the decisions when I'm making these marks on the paper. If there's something I don't like, I will take white and, you know, dilute it, try to cover it up a little bit, or maybe I'll add color on top of it like I was doing here with these um, horizon lines, really trying to drill those in and get them a little more uh, defined. It's looking like a hot mess, I know. <laughs> I know. But I'm just going to keep going with it. Um, again, you, here I'm using a chopstick to add some little dots of a darker uh, purple. And um, just seeing what can happen, reminding myself it's always just paper or canvas and paint. So just keep going and having fun with it. I am going to give these away so you don't have to subscribe or, or really do anything except comment below. 
and say that you want a painting. And I will put your name into the random picker and let you know if you um, win it. But if you do like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button below. So what I decided to do was use some gold paint because I love it and a toothbrush to give myself a little spatter. Yes, I'm outside and the wind was playing havoc with me, uh, but that's okay. Did a little spatter on that one quadrant and then I decided to take a liner brush and just use the gold paint and make some scribbles on the other quadrants. I'm sometimes smudging it around with my finger to give it a softer edge. But really these are just little scribble marks, little highlights of gold, little pops of color. And um, it's always sort of a final touch for me. And then my favorite, the reveal. So just be careful if you are using paper when you go to pull up that masking tape. Sometimes it can um, pull up the paper. With canvas, it's a little bit easier. You don't have to deal with that. It's always so cool to me how when you pull this off and you get that border, it just makes everything sing. You know that? Um, I wanted to show you sort of a close-up of each one. And also, with these, you can just play with the layout. You know, how would you want to hang these up or display them? You know, I can never let well enough alone, and I can hardly ever get a very, very crisp edge. But what I've found is that a white acrylic paint will clean those edges right up. It just makes it pop to have that crisp white edge. So using a little bit of white paint always helps. After I cleaned up the edges, I sprayed a clear coat of varnish. Actually, it's more like a fixative, and you can pick that up at Michael's or Art Supply, whatever. Um, it'll be listed below, but <clears throat> I can never leave well enough alone, so I decided I wanted to gild the edges. So you're going to see me attempt to put some gold leaf on these but I'm doing it outside so here's a hot tip don't do it outside <laughs> it's a pain to do the thing about gold leaf that I like is that it has a more distressed look so you know you could paint the edges and you would get a very solid you know completely colored gilded edge but with the gold leaf I like that distressed you know look where some pieces come up some pieces stay stick down I'm just using Mod Podge and it's just um, essentially glue to glue these pieces down so yeah uh, this is what I ended up with I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to comment below if you would like to win a painting. As always, I hope you will be inspired, be creative, and be happy. See you in the next video. Bye!